Good day, everyone. Welcome to the National Weather Service at Missoula, Montana's webinar on next week's prolonged Arctic cold event, January 2nd through 7th, 2017. Before we talk about the cold, I want to talk about what's coming just before that, a winter storm on Sunday. This winter storm is going to impact the region from various things. Widespread snow, 2 to 4 inches, with some higher amounts in the mountains, is expected on Sunday. Along with that, we're going to start seeing the, the intrusion of Arctic air, and it's, it's a pretty good one, so we're expecting very windy conditions area-wide, not just in the canyons, but area-wide. This is going to lead to extensive blowing and drifting of snow, making travel very difficult. These winds are expected to be 15 to 30 miles per hour sustained with gusts to 40. In addition, this is going to create dangerous wind chills anywhere from 15 degrees to 30 degrees below zero or locally higher in some spots. And in addition, local whiteout or ground blizzard potential, especially in northwest Montana, Glacier National Park, into the Flathead Valley, not to mention the potential in Bad Rock Canyon and Hellgate Canyon in the vicinity of Missoula. So as this Arctic air spills across the divide and into the entire northern Rockies, we're expecting a prolonged extraordinary cold event starting Monday night. There is very high confidence for several days of extreme cold weather. Our low temperatures and high temperatures are going to be very cold. For example, overnight you can expect 40 degrees below zero or even lower in some of our typical cold areas such as Butte and Sealy Lake. Many areas across the region are going to struggle to reach zero degrees for a high and those exceptionally cold areas may not even reach uh, above the negative 10 degree mark. Uh, it's expected our extreme coldest days are going to be Tuesday through Thursday. Now to put this in perspective and what's important about this event is we really have not had any kind of long period or long duration extreme cold event, say five or six days, for about 20 years. Some of these notable years in which it happened area-wide were 1998, 1990, 83, and then back in the 70s, uh, 79, 72, and then the early 60s, and in 1948, 49, which was our coldest winter on record. These extreme cold temperatures um, that we're expecting next week, just single day cold temperatures, are pretty rare over the last 20 years. For example, only twice since 1998 has Missoula, Missoula's overnight low temperature fallen to less than 20 degrees below zero. Butte has not been below 40 degrees below zero since 1990, and just three times since 1998 Kalispell has gone lower than 20 degrees below zero. Why is this important? Well, you'll see a little bit later that we are forecasting these numbers. Uh, in these areas. And uh, the extraordinary cold event can also lead to uh, a pretty good potential for ice jams next week. So let's start off with our current snow depth across the region on December 29th. Um, Missoula has recorded 11 inches on the ground and Kalispell 10. There are some uh, areas that really have a lot of snow. Pierce 32, uh, Sealy Lake 19, and up in uh, Whitefish 20, Pole Bridge 16 inches of snow. So what does this mean? Well, this snow depth is going to uh, be one of those variables that's going to uh, help to get those extreme temperatures even lower. This is our forecast synoptic map for next Tuesday, January 3rd. And what this shows is a large area of uh, high pressure. This is um, along with uh, uh, deep cold air, uh, this cold air moving across from Siberia down through Alaska into Canada and, and that's kind of where the origin of this cold air is. And this high pressure system is just going to sit itself over the area uh, Tuesday through uh, next Saturday. I want to take a quick look at uh, what are our record temperatures January 3rd through 7th next week. And you can see here in Missoula, our records hover anywhere from 19 below to 26 below. Um, and in Kalispell, anywhere from 30 below to 27 below. Um, 
and those years vary from 1949 as, to as recent as 2004. In Butte, our record temperatures next week range from 48 below zero to 38 below zero. So just by looking at these three stations and some of their records and, and compared to what our forecasts are, we should be able to uh, look at uh, some record breaking temperatures next week for lows. And you may wonder, and I put this on here because some of you may be wondering, um, are all time record low temperatures across the region? Missoula is 33 below in 1957, 38 below in Kalispell, 52 below in Butte in 1983, and Salmon 34 below in Grangeville 25 below. So here is a forecast map of what we are uh, a map of what we are forecasting for overnight minimum temperatures uh, on Tuesday morning, and it's very impressive in some of our cold areas. Butte, minus 40, Drummond, 37 below, City Lake, 41. Even over here in Happy's End in uh, northwest Montana, 37 below, and Pole Bridge, 41 below. In some of our um, more populated areas in the Bitterroot Valley, anywhere from 20 to 28 below zero is forecasted. Uh, up in Kalispell, Pulse, anywhere from 18 to 21 below zero. And let's not forget Idaho, Central Idaho, Elk City, and Dixie, anywhere from 30 to 35 below zero for temperatures. And Salmon in, in Limhi County, Salmon Leodor, anywhere from you know 22 below to 35 below zero. Um, depending on some of those small factors, uh, snow depth, lack of wind, or, or cloud cover, uh, we could even see colder temperatures in some of these favored cold areas. And this prolonged Arctic event um, is also going to impact high temperatures. With all these cold temperatures and the high pressure over us and uh, all the stable conditions, uh, it's going to be very difficult to uh, uh, get temperatures uh, too high, meaning uh, we're going to have we're going to struggle to reach zero degrees in many areas. Uh, for example, our forecasted high uh, for next week on uh, uh, Wednesday. Uh, looks to be three below zero for high in Missoula, 15 below in Butte, and uh, below zero in Limhi County for high temperatures. So uh, it's going to be cold. <laughs> Even if we do get above zero, we're not going to get much above, you know, maybe two or three degrees above zero. So, and, and this is expected Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe with a little bit of moderation Friday and Saturday. Nevertheless, Friday and Saturday should still uh, see temperatures below zero overnight. One of the major impacts that uh, extreme cold weather um, can have is uh, with frostbite. Remember on Sunday I mentioned we are going to have uh, uh, an intrusion of uh, Arctic air along with very windy conditions and that can provide uh, wind chills anywhere from uh, 20 to 35 below zero. And simply what this chart says is, is uh, anywhere in this light blue, uh, after 30 minutes uh, frostbite can occur with these temperatures. Later on in the week, even if we have calm winds on this top line, even if we have calm winds, temperatures standalone 15 to 20 degrees below zero can produce frostbite within 30 minutes. Okay, so in summary, um, we have a pretty big system a big change expected Sunday into Monday with a winter storm, snow blowing snow, and dangerous wind chills. And this will lead to our extraordinary prolonged extreme cold event next week as high pressure drops over the region. Uh, next week meaning next Monday through Saturday. Um, low temperatures at the extremes, it looks like 30 to 40 degrees below zero in our colder areas, especially Butte, Sealy Lake, and, and Pole Bridge, for example. And uh, expect some of our more populated valleys anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees below zero for absolute minimum temperatures. And also in summary, ice jam potential will increase on area rivers next week. Hey, have a great day and stay warm. And feel free to visit us at www.weather.gov slash Missoula or contact us at 406-329-4840. Uh, for the most up-to-date information regarding this Arctic outbreak. Have a good day.